when you first power up your panel you might find that it doesn't fit the screen correctly and you need to put the right firmware on as you see here it's uh, the message is going off the edge of the screen so the firmware needs setting up so plug a USB drive which you'll need into a computer first and then here's the firmware on Dropbox you need to click on this little link up there you need to extract the zip file um, which is quite big extract that to your machine and I'll show you how I speeded up the process of finding the right firmware now I'd already looked at my panel on panel look and found out that it was 1280 by 700 ish so I knew that was the resolution when you open the firmware file you'll see that there's two directories inside it uh, one is for the 5 key firmware and there's another for the 7 key firmware which just depends on how many keys you want it to have so uh, here's what you see inside the 7 key which is what I'll show you how to do today now, I'm doing this on a Mac it doesn't really matter if you do it on a PC but there is a little gotcha if you're doing it on the Mac which I'll come to in a bit so now I've got all of the 7 key firmware in one folder and what I'll do I'm going to search that folder for 1024 which is my screen resolution and this will find all of the um, folders within that directory within that main folder uh, with that in the file name so I'm just going to copy all those using Control or command C and copy it there going to create a new folder on the drive somewhere else and just call that 1024s so I'm just working with those I just copied those files so not to lose them and then I'm going to paste those files back into this directory and as you see there's several there which I've got to work through hopefully one of these will be the right one for my panel so inside the folder there's all the folders of this same file and what we've got to do now is go through each one of them and uh, copy it onto the USB drive so I'll copy that one particular file to start with at the top of the list and then I'll paste that into my USB drive now obviously this might not be the right one so you're gonna to have to repeat this task three or four times each time putting the uh, flashing the firmware into the driver board and powering it up and seeing whether the screen looks right so here's the USB drive and all I'm going to do is paste it onto there like so then I need to eject the drive properly then I can try plugging it into the board so before we do that just a little point here about the Mac now this is the same USB drive looked at on a PC and you'll see there's this little file that the Mac creates its resource file I'm not sure whether that will stop it flashing the firmware but it might be an idea if you've got a PC and uh, you've extracted these on the Mac and like I did just to go in there and delete that one full stop underscore file so take the bad boy out plug it into the driver board with the power off and power up the driver board now you're going to enjoy watching a little bit of an LED light show while it flashes the firmware it does check to see that the firmware on there isn't what's already on the board if so it doesn't go through this light sequence as it gets to the end of it you'll notice that the light flashes very quickly and then it's your time to look at the screen and see what it looks like so if you see this one is how if you've seen in one of my other videos this is what it looks like when you've got the correct panel a correct driver in just right after flashing it and it comes through in Chinese and uh, I'll show you how to change that in another video